I've made bacon wrapped poppers. I've made prosciutto wrapped poppers, but today we're making pastrami wrapped poppers. Yeah, that's one of the fun things about making jalapeno poppers is that you can do what you want on the outside, wrap them with bacon, wrap them with nothing. I've deep fried them battered before, but wrapping them in pastrami, I think that's gonna be a fantastic way to go. So let's get started. Got some jalapenos here. We're gonna split these in half, clean them out so that we can fill them with some great cream cheese filling that we're gonna get ready in just a minute. So what I wanna try and do is find the way they roll. And then you wanna roll it on the back and I'm gonna try and split this right down the middle. If I can get the stem in half, that's great. If not, it'll be all right. Kinda of like that. This half gets the stem. And if you want to, you can take the stem off, but for me, it's just a little handle to hold as you're eating the popper. So again, we're gonna try and go right down the middle as straight as possible. Doesn't always work perfectly, but do the best you can. They're gonna taste great no matter how you cut them. Now what we need to do is clean these out. And the best tool that I've found is just a small spoon. I like to just get a plate to catch all the seeds and everything coming out and go to town. You can just kind of scrape everything out of there. If a few seeds slip in, it's not gonna hurt anything. What is your favorite jalapeno popper filling? What do you put in it? I know a lot of people put things like cheddar cheese and things like that, but I like a really nice cream cheese based filling. I'm gonna add a couple things to it today. I think one of my favorite ways to prepare them though, although it takes a lot of work and a lot of mess, is to deep fry them, to batter them and deep fry them. It's really good. I might have to do a video on that someday. Yeah, these little spoons make short work of this. Work really well. All right, let's make our filling and get these filled. So one of the things that I want to put into the cream cheese filling is this, a marinated fire roasted red bell pepper. And I'm just gonna chop this up as small as I can. I mean, maybe a fine dice. I'm not a chef, so I don't know how to do that thing, but we'll get this chopped up nicely. just like that. And let's get our cream cheese out here and build this filling. So in my bowl here, I have 16 ounces of cream cheese. Now this is probably gonna be a little too much for filling these, let's see, it's seven jalapenos, 14 halves, so, or 14 poppers. But once you make this, this is great to spread on, you know, little pieces of toast or something, just really good. To this, I'm gonna add the red pepper we just chopped up. I'm also gonna add some honey, maybe a tablespoon. And the cream cheese is softened a little bit. I left it out at room temperature for about 20 minutes just so it's not hard as a brick, but it still takes a little bit to incorporate everything here. So just get yourself a good spoon and mix and take your time. You kind of end up just smashing everything together. All right, that's looking good. Let's fill our jalapenos. And so this is as simple as getting your jalapeno having a spoonful of the filling, and just working it in there. You can fill it as much as you want. I don't like to overfill it. Kind of like that. So another one here. And if it gets a little messy on the edges, don't worry, we're gonna be wrapping these. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna fill the rest of these and we'll move on to wrapping them. So I have some pastrami here that I had sliced up at the deli as thin as possible. We're gonna go ahead and wrap these poppers. And I think I'm gonna start at this end and just work my way around. Pastrami is not quite as stretchy as bacon. Bacon you can sometimes stretch to really get good coverage, but this looks pretty good right there. Let's do another one. And if you need to use more than one piece of pastrami on a popper, go ahead. I will not argue with the deliciousness of that. Yeah, 
And if your pastrami gets really floppy, you can always use a toothpick to hold it in place. There's no judgment here on that. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of these wrapped up and then we're gonna head out to the grill. All right, the kettle is up to temp. I'm targeting around 350 degrees today. So let's get our pastrami wrapped poppers on. I'm using the firewall and the Mallory cast iron grate. Everything is already cooked or doesn't need to be cooked. So really we're just wanting to warm these up, maybe get a little color on them, get that cream cheese a little melty inside. Just want to brush these with a little bit of barbecue sauce on the top. Totally not necessary, but I like to do that. I do that with bacon wrap poppers all the time. Just a little extra flavor and color. Just pick your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm gonna get a piece of cherry on here for a little bit of smoke today. All right, I'm gonna get the lid on and we're gonna come back in about 20 minutes and check these. All right, we've been going 20 minutes. Let's check our poppers, see if they're at the color we want because everything just needs to warm up, like I said. Oh, wow. Those look gorgeous. These look exactly like I want them. I don't want these to go anymore and burn on the outside, so we're gonna get these off, get them inside, let them cool down for about five minutes so they're not lava hot, and then we'll have a taste. So here are our beautiful grilled pastrami poppers. Now, I mean, I could talk through this, but why not just pick one of these up, have a bite, see how it tastes. Let's see, I mean, I could just go for the one on top here, I'm gonna go for this one right here though. Cheers. Perfect bite through with that pastrami and that cream cheese filling with just a hint of sweetness from that honey, red peppers, everything comes together on this. I may have said it earlier in the video, but this is one of the reasons I love making jalapeno poppers. They are just sort of a canvas that you can paint your own picture on with flavor. Add your own type of fillings, wrap them with something you want, and it's just terrific at the end.